Hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome to Healing School. It's a great day to be alive. This is the day which God has made. We are rejoicing and we are extremely glad in it. Thank you for joining us today. Wherever you are in the world, God is with you. In the name of Jesus, praise God. Um, before I bring the message, which is called Divine Help, I just want to commit this word into the mighty hand of our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Mighty Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise your name. We bless you. We esteem you so most highly. We thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to come before your word today. And we want to thank you, Lord, for your word, mighty God, whereby we come to with expectation, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as we invite you in to take your place. And Father, receive all the glory, receive all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Praise God once again. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, by the inspiration of the Blessed Holy Spirit, my teaching is entitled Divine Health, Divine Health for the Glory of God. And my keynote scripture is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verses 20 to 22, which reads, My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes, but keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them and health or medicine to all their flesh. Praise God. So in this comprehensive passage in verse 20, God tells us exactly how to attend to his word. In verse 21, it says, let them not depart from your eyes. So instead of you know us having our eyes on the symptoms and being occupied with them, we look at the word of God continually. You see, God's word is supernatural. So you have to be like Abraham in the Bible. You must be strong in faith, hallelujah, looking at the promises of God and nothing else, amen. Looking at the provision of God and nothing else. So do not let the word of God depart from your eyes, hallelujah. Do not let the healing scriptures depart from your eyes or even your heart or even your mouth in the name of Jesus. You see, when you attend to God's word by not letting them depart from your eyes and by keeping them in the middle of your heart, in the midst of your heart, the seed of the word will work for you. Hallelujah. Healing will spring forth speedily in your body. Hallelujah. As you are consistent by putting the word in the middle of your heart. Hallelujah. Your heart is good ground. Your heart is your spirit. Amen. And when you apply the word of God continually, that good ground will flourish in the name of Jesus. It will always bring forth healing fruit. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is effective. The word works effectively. Let me give an example. You know, when a farmer puts seed into the ground, he doesn't dig it up every day to see how it's doing. No, simply because he believes that the seed has begun to work already. The seed must remain planted and be kept watered before it can produce its harvest. You see, the farmer has already had faith to plant that seed before he's actually planted it. Um, you know, we can have the same faith in the imperishable seed, God's word, which he says in John chapter 6, verse 63, our spirit and life. Hallelujah. And when we have faith for healing and believe that the scriptures are already doing its work, amen, without waiting for visual evidence, we will see the great manifestation if we remain in faith, amen. We will have a God kind of faith. Faith believes before it receives. You must understand that the word of God is not corruptible. It is incorruptible. It is the incorruptible seed. And 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23 says, the incorruptible seed, which lives and abides forever. Jesus said in the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 11, the word is the seed. You see, the word of God is the seed, hallelujah, of God's divine life. The seed of divine life, the God kind of life, the Zoe kind of life, God's very nature, and substance is in his word. Amen. And we know that 
God's word, amen, and he himself, they are one. And that's why we should have our eyes on his word. You see, when your eyes are on your symptoms and your mind is occupied with them more than God's word, you have, in essence, planted the wrong kind of seed for the harvest that you desire. You have to have in your mind, amen, that the word of God is working for you. You have in your mind that God seeds, amen, that is working for you. And once you have that in your mind, we know that doubt will be cast out in the name of Jesus. Doubt will have no room. You know, we don't want to raise one crop, amen, when we're actually focusing on something else. You know, if you're focusing, for instance, on the symptoms, you'll be raising the crop of doubt. But if you focus your mind on the word of God, you'll be reaping the crop of healing, prosperity, blessing, strength. No matter what you're believing God for, you will reap that harvest. Amen. So it is impossible to sow tares and reap wheat. You have to ensure that you're focusing on the word of God. Your symptoms may point to you having, you know, premature death, but don't entertain that. These are lying vanities. We want to entertain the word of God and put the word of God first place in our lives where it belongs. Amen. So we want the God kind of life, the divine kind of life, the healing, divine healing to work in our situation, to work in our body. You cannot look, you know, at two different directions at the same time. Hallelujah. So look at the word. The word will never fail you. No matter what you may be going through today, remember the word of God will work in your situation. The word of God is the report that we want to believe. We want to believe the report of the Lord that says, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Amen. So after you plant, oh, hallelujah, plant seed, you believe that it is growing even before you see it in the natural. Amen. So in the spiritual the God kind of faith is planting the seed of the word of God and you will see the evidence. You will reap the reward in the name of Jesus. You see, God's word, amen, is perfect in every way. Hallelujah. It is the incorruptible seed. Hallelujah. You will have perfect evidence for faith when you put the word of God first. Amen. So we should live by every word of God. Amen. We should feed our faith. We should feed our inward man daily with the word of God. And you will definitely have the reward when you do so. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 reads, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who is him? The great healer, the great physician, or the one that sent his word and he has healed you. Amen. The one that says, hallelujah, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Hallelujah. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. So God is pleased and we have faith. Amen. In what he tells us from this scripture, we can plainly see that God demands faith from us. Now, Kenneth E. Hagen of blessed memory, he used to say, if God demands that we have faith, when it is impossible for us to have faith, then we have a right to challenge his justice. But if God places in our hands the means whereby faith can be produced, then the responsibility is up to us as to whether we have faith or not. That's so true. You see, God has given us his word and he has told us that in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, how faith comes, it says, faith cometh by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. Amen. It is so. F.F. Bosworth, a blessed memory, an authority on healing and the author of the classic book, Christ the Healer, says in this book, most Christians feed their bodies three hot meals a day, their spirits one cold snack a week, and then wonder why they are so weak in faith. You know, so really, to please our Heavenly Father, we must walk in faith. 
We must feed our faith regularly with faith through scriptures. Hallelujah. With healing scriptures, with scriptures pertaining to prosperity. Hallelujah. Scriptures pertaining to, to strength, any form of promises, promises which God has given unto us, we must feed our spirit on them. We know that the word of God will not pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will never, ever pass away. Hallelujah. God has given to you, God has given to me, his engrafted word to save our souls. Amen. To save our bodies from sickness, disease, and any form of viruses. Hallelujah. You know, Kenneth E. Hagen, I just love his teachings. Amen. And I still listen to them over and over again in books and YouTubes, etc. Because it's such a blessing. These are faith food. Amen. So we know Kenneth E. Hagen, his ministry of healing, you know, it generated so many numerous testimonies, one of which I'd like to share with us now. Years ago, a woman was carried into one of my services. She had not walked in four years and doctors said she would never walk again. I sat down beside her and placed my open Bible on her lap. I said, sister, please read that verse out loud. She read 1 Peter 2, chapter 24, aloud. And when she ended with, by whose stripes you were healed, I asked her, if were, past tense, present tense, or future tense, I will never forget her reaction. Were is past tense, she exclaimed. If I were healed, then I am healed. Amen. So she accepted God's word with such enthusiasm and simplicity of a child. And that's the way we have to do things, hallelujah, when it comes to the word of God. And that's how God recalls it in his word. He doesn't promise to heal us because he has already provided healing for us almost 2,000 years ago. Healing is something we already have, people of God, hallelujah. I'll continue. This woman's face lit up. And she lifted her hands and said, praise the Lord. I'm so glad that I am healed. I'm so glad that I can walk again. This was her faith speaking. You see, she hadn't walked a step yet. Please note that. Hallelujah. Praise God. But she said from her lips, I'm so glad that I can walk. I'm so glad that I am not helpless anymore. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I can walk. So later on, she actually rose up and she walked and she leaped and she danced and she praised God for her healing. Hallelujah. This woman believed and she said that she received it before she actually saw the healing. Amen. So saying only what God says will produce an increased faith every time. Hallelujah. This will make it easier to believe than to doubt. The evidences for faith are much stronger than those for doubting. Don't doubt your faith. Doubt your doubts. Hallelujah. Sickness, the symptoms, they are unreliable. We have to cling to and believe the word of God. Amen. Just believe in the power of God's word and you shall be healed. Why? Because the word of God is supernatural. It quickens your mortal flesh. Hallelujah. It is medicine to all your flesh. It heals your body. There is healing in the word of God for you. Amen. If God says healing is yours, then it is yours. Amen. You see, God declares that his word will not return to him void. Amen. We are to return to his word by giving voice to it, by confessing it, and he will create the fruit of our lips. Confessing God's word is the way that you can have fellowship also with the Lord and increase your faith at the same time. Amen. When you meditate on the word of God, when you confess the word of God is not a hit or a misproposition because the word of God tells us, Isaiah 55 verse 11, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. God's word brings, hallelujah, light, amen, to our situation, amen. So we have to bring God's word to him in prayer, in songs, 
in our confessions, knowing that his word will not return unto him void. And God says further in scripture, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12, I will hasten my word to perform it. A marginal note in the King James Version reads, I will watch over my word to perform it. Somebody say after me, hallelujah. According to Romans 8, chapter 2, the law of the spirit of life in me has made me free from the law of sin and of death. Therefore, I will not allow sin, sickness, or death to lord it over me in the name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, hallelujah. God is with you. Dare to stand on his word. Dare to believe his word. Amen. God makes his word good. He keeps his word. Amen. So receive the benefits of the word of God. The word of God is active. It is sharper than any two energy sword, capable of healing any sickness. Amen. Today, I encourage you, practice it. Amen. Make it a practice to take God's medicine on a regular basis, just as you would another medicine if you take them at all. Then it will be life and health to your mortal body in the name of Jesus. Health and healing to your flesh. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you remain glorious and so amazing. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that Jesus has paid for our sicknesses and paid it in full. We are redeemed by the stripes of Jesus. Every sickness is rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression is rendered powerless. Oh, there is freedom. There is healing. There is deliverance because mighty God, you have paid the price in full. I pray right now in the authority of the name of Jesus. Oh, Santa. Anybody with problems, that's problems breathing. Anyone with problems breathing, I rebuke that problem in the name of Jesus. Anyone with problems of, of hearing, oh, Santa. That ear is open now in the name of Jesus on the right side. Santa. Santa. Problems of walking, problems with blood disorder, or you are healed in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Your body is not a temple for sickness, it is the temple of the living God. I speak right now to the spirit of affliction to go now in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare restore. I command restoration in the name of Jesus. You say now, sickness, leave my body now in the name of Jesus. God is working upon your body right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Any stomach issues, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, Santa. Oh, hallelujah. Receive your healing. There shall be a performance. Santa. In fact, there is a performance by faith in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, right now we praise you. Right now we thank you. Right now we adore you. Oh, Santa. You know, a part of receiving healing is to rejoice in the rock of your salvation. Is to magnify the Lord. Is to bless his name. For he has done it. Oh, Give God thanks. Give God praise. Adore him. Hallelujah. I decree and I declare that you are healed. Magnify the Lord in the beauty of holiness. You are healed right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, it has been a pleasure to be with you today in our healing school and grace and peace be multiplied to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. Hallelujah. Join me next time for our healing school. Until then, your faith will not fail. Hallelujah. Your faith has overcome the world and you are healed and blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. <music>